can't take you in this thing, amigo. Especially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. But yes, you've been warned. Watch my step. Danny, the military keeps some of that depleted uranium by those anti-aircraft sites. Snatch me some so I can gift you more Supremos. And if you blow those cannons to bits, you can fly free as a bird in Yara skies. is going to explode. I know I heard something that time. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Yo sabía que alguien iba a venir. Clara, I'm near El Este. And history is repeating itself. What do you mean? This is the land where legends are born, Danny. The 67 revolution started in El Este. El Tigre, La Quimama, Lorenzo, Lobo, they led the guerrillas who took Castillo's from the Tigre. And they know I'm coming to give them the good news. Benitez. Head of Castillo's Navy, a real sea monster. She likes to hang traitors like fish for all of El Este to see. Pan carajo. Well, I'm in El Este now. All of it. You uh, have a long night. The rum and coke was flowing last night, baby Tigre. Minus the coke. Been there. I'm sending you some photos. Is that a crab block? See, si. call me when you get there. Bring grappling gear, you're going to need it. Now get moving up our mountain. We can't wait to meet you, baby Tigre. Like those guerrillas need help. Found where all the coffee is made in Yara. It's no joke, Danny. This is where the army forces farmers to give up their harvests or get thrown into the camps. Castillo grows rich from the profits and the people starve. You want to stop it? Take the oil powering the factory. But while you're at it, take the fucking factory too.
Oye, el tigre. Nomadic crab rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to la revolution. See, si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain, very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Binga. like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre, I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. So is a handful of grenades. Yeah, I get it. Gods. Fucking show offs. have to accidentally unblock it. Exactly! <laughs> I love it! Really disappear up here. It would make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time?
Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the Sodal would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many careers are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. <laughs> Tigre, I'm at the statue. Ah, Lobo. A revolutionary, a warrior, and a dear friend. Killed in combat when we stormed the Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. Never lived to see a free Yara. To be honest, neither did. Is it... Huh? Huh? Oh, El Tigre! What a Danny! What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Never do that again! What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on! Me and the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. Her peace doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Berda! Another patient? Well, looks like La Morale to me. I'm Danny Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on her side. Heroes to believe it. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. My baby Tigre. His books are in 35 languages. Forget it. Got a mystery for you. Sure. What happened? 
I sent some guerrillas to Rio de Plata to grab a C4 shipment. They went dark. Guess we're too, too. Buddy. I picked up oh, Russian buddy. radio transmissions. Los Ayara's old allies came back to fuck with Libertad. You think they took the C4? Not Bye. sure. That's why I'm calling you. Erast. Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. Remember yeah, yeah. the three guerrilla pimps, but... Hello? Who the hell is this? Don't push it! I'm hanging up now, asshole. Wait, 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 wait. Just answer me this. You recognize those lines? Sure. That's Rambo. First blood, right? Ha! I knew it! It's really you! Really who? What do you want? Does that even me? You know, I don't actually know. But anyway, just come meet me at my top secret base. I need your help. You can't say top secret. But then not tell me where it is. Okay, fine. Mendoza Peninsula. On the hour. Clara, I've met the legends. El Tigre is the only one on board with Libertad. Do whatever you have to and get them to join this fight. The people need heroes to believe in. I just hope they still want to be heroes. I'm going to take a walk around their camp. Check out what they've got. Okay, Danny. Stay in touch. Now, these animals can reach any this looks like they drop. What a mess. This is too easy. Que vola! Who are you? We're La Moral, and the Leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech? Yeah. This is property of Libertad. Ah, Libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Three, four. Nice bro. Name's Danny. Danny Rojas. Uh huh. Company! Over there! By the chopper! Got her up!
Just be stink! Libertad. But Yelena needs these supplies. We got wounded. Yelena's your boss. Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring this to the Legends. Libertad wants the Legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara thinks they're dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral thinks they're full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. Tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper? Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. Be nice, horse. <laughs> Baby Tigre, how's it going with those medical supplies? I'm working on it. Don't pull off what you can do today, because tomorrow can turn into yesterday, and by then it's too late. I think you might need a nap, big guy. Yeah. <laughs> Like a good place to raise a family.
me vi muerta. Hola, guerrilla. Hola. You're from Esperanza. I can tell. I heard you just have to pay rent here. Just make sure you're not underneath when I shoot it down. I see you, Hohron. Nepinga. Every soldado in Yara can see you. Palapinga, el tigre, feast of the revolution. You gotta sign my pants. ¿Cómo se llama, señorita? Honrón. Eh. I'm with La Moral. La Moral. Terroristas. Honrón, this is Lorena. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. And he's were not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go, check out a Bio Vida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. No, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting la revolution. El tigre. Sí. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in the museum, whatever. I can leave Puerta. And maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too, even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. 
Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud, sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the BioVira to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre, and we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. What do you Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? You done with them? Sorry, amigo. I can't take you with me. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits. Until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that BioVira place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out for her. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. Got to be careful here. I don't want to die.
engineer. Deal. You fucking monster. I need more pigs.
got a bad feeling about this place. All this bullshit about treating cancer. What are they doing to these poor people? This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. Al Tigre, I got the pics. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriela? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place Horan was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste? That's the end. You shoot the tree. Some of the old timers listen to Castillo's propaganda like he's the new. We need to talk. To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. We're freeing El Este with or without them. You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation up close. Swing by El Agujero. It's La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Say this password to our doorman. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way.
What can I do? You should talk to Signora Toga. I'll see what she needs. She's the president of the farmers' collectives there. I'm on it. She just told you that her farmers are about to break our agreement. We really need these people on our side, Danny. Getting close, I think. So you know, Yelena's the big boss. I'm team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spy in Colombia. You can't even fart in LA. I stay without Gilberto's network hearing about it. Spies and hackers. La Moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around. And if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. I'm at Concepcion. How do I find La Moral? I'll send you a pic. Show no one. What are you sending me? It will help you find the door. Don't forget the password and remember. Curfew. Muerto el perro. Se acabó la rabia. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything, and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. Nice to meet you, too. My name's Danny. Alfredo. Down the stairs. I need six volunteers. I'll talk to my people, honey. P. Jorge Nana's gangs are probably on the ship. You're Yelena? Yeah, that. Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No. You handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use Lamaral's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people, then I'll think about it. Mm-hmm. For real? Libertad? No shit. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me. Uh! 
Take all the rasol. Be nice to him. Easy now. Easy. Easy. You're with Libertad? I am. I think it would be great if we joined forces. Yeah? We've been fighting and we've been winning. But Admiral Benitez will always have more than we do. We kill one soldado today. Tomorrow they get replaced with three more. And when La Moral people die, there is no one replacing them. Not yet. On top of that, these farmers and the people just trying to survive don't want to fight. We need fresh blood. Real fighters. What about getting the legends to join? We try. None of those abuelos want to fight. I heard a lot of them even support Castillo. You heard wrong. Well, I don't see any abuelos fighting now. I'm working on it. So, how do these farmers get a helicopter? They built it from the parts of ones we shot down. Bing. These farmers are 100% on our side. The other farmers are not? What's going on? Are you going to save those people? Yelena called. Do you want to live to that boat? Let's do this. Get in. My name's Calixto. Danny. I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. But where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a come mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out drill sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? <laughs> Wait. I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Libertad. What can you tell me about La Moral? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That's the real name? Yeah. Some Spaniard named it back in 1490, whatever. A couple of months ago, Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. So what does La Moral do? They track and kill every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and sneaking their throats while their families are slept. Assassin shit. These kids are smart, coordinated, and cold-blooded. Sounds like it. Tabs on military convoys passing through them and report them to La Moral. Seems like they run a tight operation. These kids are on the ball. Yelena is more organized than the military. La Moral got our back. When Admiral Benitez started getting rough with our families, La Moral got rough back. Killed any soldado who dared to step foot on our lands. Pretty soon, they stopped coming. I can't get you any closer. This is great. Gracias, mi amigo. Good luck saving those people.
such as Recon, that's cool, but I think your people need you down there, no?
our fighters in a container over the hole. Save them! I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. This is Admiral Benitez. To the fake Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want you. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. Right now. Yelena. They're waiting for you to clear the air. Can somebody tell those planes to hold still?
Yelena, it's done. Your people are safe. I heard. We even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? Come back to El Aguero. She is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale. Clara, I've met La Moral. Why didn't you send me to them first? La Moral? Last I heard they were a small group always on the edge of falling apart. They're doing more fighting than the legends. Okay, but watch your step. La Moral has a bad rep, and I don't want Libertad's name to be dragged down with them. I'll keep my eyes open. Rescue. I heard you kick beneath this ass, Danny. I think I want out of this shit. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez, Bermudez, Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so 
How do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups! Are the first step to victory! The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. You need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech puffed me up. See! The part where you put the gun to your head and pull the trigger? That was crazy! I loved it! <laughs> Vanny needs to take care of our little problem at the hotel. Well, why didn't you say? All we need is Carlito. And the hotel is as good as don't ours. Don't be shy. I what don't we mind. need? Unless to you want me to. Says convoy. Sounds like we're... I am Gilberto Rosario, bachelor, performer, spy master for la revolución. You may have seen my better half on TV, Rosamel. Don't look so surprised. It's amazing what blue makeup and a pair of coconuts can do. The government thinks they're using Rosamel to influence the hearts and minds of Jarans. But Rosamel is the one choosing them. A little dance, a little wink, a lot of rum. And these military generals sing songs that could get their tongues cut out by Castillo. But Rosamel can't be everywhere at once. So I send out my chameleons. They blend in everywhere, become anyone, and they all report to me. Come see me when you're ready, horny. We hit all three, and we spread her forces thin. Make her base more vulnerable. And then, we strike. You remind me of Lucky. Always three moves ahead. Though, she's not big on these machines. You mean Lato? Yeah. We got El Tigre on our side. What good is that, old man? It's gonna be for La Moral. Did you sleep during history class? El Tigre is the baddest motherfucker on this island. It's not 1967. Doesn't matter. El Tigre is a legend. I heard he kicked a plane out of his side. We need to hurry. I like these young Darius. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. <coughs> Let me know when you're ready to free Carlito. The plan's solid. We can't lose. Nice speech, Yelena. 